Number 22, letter A. What is the wavelength of 100 megahertz radio waves used in an MRI unit? All right, so letter A, uh, basically all we need to do, right, is use the formula that the velocity of the wave is gonna equal the frequency multiplied by the wavelength. If we're asked to find the wavelength, divide both sides by the frequency, we come up with this equation. And we've seen now from the past 20 problems that the velocity of the wave we're gonna be using is gonna be the speed of light and divided them by the frequency, which is 100 megahertz, but we need that in terms of hertz, so multiply that by 10 raised to the sixth, okay? And then simply take out the calculator, three times 10 to the eight, divided by 100 now times 10 to the sixth, and we get a value of three. So three meters, all right? That's going to be the uh, wavelength. Now letter B, okay? So letter B now says, if frequencies are swept over a plus or minus one range centered on 100 megahertz, what is the range of wavelengths? So basically, we're literally doing the problem again. All right, so let's just copy this equation. Instead now, what's going to happen is the, uh, you know what, I'm gonna do it in red, sorry. So the wavelength here is going to be equal to the velocity divided by the frequency. The speed of the light is not changing. The speed of the electromagnetic wave is not changing, but the frequency is. So in one case, you're gonna take the 100 times 10 to the six and subtract one from it, because that's on one band. And then you're also gonna do it for the other side, three times 10 to the eight. Then you're gonna divide it now by 100 times 10 to the six plus one, all right? And you're gonna do basically two calculations here. So three times 10 to the eight, divided by then 100 times 10 to the six minus one. And uh, yeah. Right? So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's three, <laughs> right? It's three. And then what do you think the other one's gonna be? It's gonna be 2.999, right? It's basically three. Now, if they meant that this is plus or minus one megahertz, that might be different now, right? If they meant that, then what I'd have to do is subtract then, and I don't know because it's a little unclear to me, but it sounds a little strange that they might have asked for that. But anyway, um, if they asked for then, it, if this was a plus or minus one megahertz, then uh, maybe this, then we would subtract one times 10 to the sixth, okay? And add then one times 10 to the sixth. So basically, you know, instead of them both being basically three, the answers would now be three times 10 to the eight divided by then 100 times 10 to the sixth minus then one times 10 to the sixth, which is 3.03 .03 now. Maybe that's what they're talking about, who knows? Who in the world knows? But 3.03 .03 meters. And then the other one now would be a three times 10 to the eight divided by then essentially becomes right 90 or 101 times 10 to the sixth. And that's 2.97. So maybe that's what they wanted. But your guess is as good as mine on that one. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. All right, if it did, like and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Take care.